Every week, a one-off art event. Couldn't happen without you, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. You believe in the future. I know that. Ask you where everyone is waiting for another chip to chew. I'm angry now, cause I get nothing. The offices where the art council hang out. Have you painted the walls? Have you smashed the window? Have you rearranged the furniture? How avant-garde is the art council? <laughs> Do you have livestock? <laughs> We do have a lot of art in the office. We've commissioned a lot of art specifically for our office. Oh, well, I can paint. Really? Now, can I just say that I did get the article from the Times, that was very kindly given by an artist friend of mine, where the application that one puts in for a grant were asking questions of your sexual orientation. Now, this did cause controversy, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people were thinking it shouldn't really matter where you put it or, you know, what you do with your toilet parts. It shouldn't really matter when it comes to getting money to do your art, you know what I mean? I like doing paintings with, like, brown thought. But it shouldn't matter what turns me on, and in fact I can't talk about what turns me on because it's, some of it's a bit criminal actually. <laughs> and, any favourite artist? Have you heard of Picasso? <laughs> No, because I like him. A lot of people think that it doesn't look like a person, but I think there's a lot of skill doing all that. Realism, they call that, I think. What do they call it? Realism. Realism.
have been treated for clinical depression. <laughs> and as a result, I can't watch EastEnders. <laughs> no, because to me, it's 30 minutes of clinical depression. <laughs> anybody even remotely arty here, it should be in an art gallery. Don't you think, my love? Are they giving you ideas? Because sometimes you go to the toilet, you just flush the chain, it's such a waste of it. You know, you could do a beautiful artwork. You could even do a recreation of the Mona Lisa, loving excrement. Pooter, my darling. Please come back onto the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, what an inspiration. It's a total pleasure to have you here at Magazine and maybe you'll come again and amongst us and join us and bring your guardian independence on Sunday aesthetic with you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pooter! What a girl. Thank you. You know, honestly, between you and Anne, I haven't been lucky with tonight's guest. <laughs> Everything okay down here? That. You've enjoyed it, haven't you, darling? Okay. Pusha, would you do me a favour, love? Would you start the jacuzzi? <laughs> Thanks, and I'll see you in a minute or two. Mamma Mia, or we will rock you, but some other shite. And love, and I've got it. That's true. Yes, I do. Did I do? You know I do. Get me, get me, get me. 